D6 News in depth is about an Omaha man who is pouring money and sweat into remodeling a house that he plans to sell. But no matter how good it looks, potential buyers may be scared away by the house next door. Mike McKnight shows us why and what the city is doing to help in this fact finders investigation. A remodeled interior should catch a buyer's eye. Sort of makes it a family affair because you got, you got my son, my wife. They're all helping in on this. But before seeing the family's workmanship, Bill worries prospective buyers will be distracted. I don't think someone would actually be considered buying the house when you have something like this next door. An empty house with an overgrown yard sits next to Green's investment home, his landscape property bordered by tall weeds and untrimmed trees. I want the, the owner or the person responsible for this property to take ownership of it and maintain it. A weeds and litter inspector agrees, but the city's notices to the listed owner have gone unanswered. Welcome to the jungle, you know, it's like... Yeah, it, it should get mowed within a week or two. The city will do the job and slap a lien on the property to repay that cost should it ever sell. And cutting back the overgrowth will answer neighborhood concerns about safety. You can't see the door. Take a closer look. You can see why neighbors are concerned. The screen door is unlocked and it looks like the inside door has been kicked in. Bill will soon put his updated house on the market. And because of a call from fact finders, the eyesore next door is on the city's cleanup schedule and he's itching for them to get started. All that growth up underneath the eaves is all poison ivy. Near 20th and Martha, Mike McKnight, WWT 6 News. And that's not the only eyesore that has caught the city's attention. Now we should another picture to show you this overflowing dumpster behind a vacant home near 40th and Fowler. The property owner has been using it to clean out the house and others are driving down the alley and piling on. Yes, right Cecilia Minshaw, who lives next door, says the eyesore has been building yeah. for months. All the rats and mice, it's a health hazard. And all the little kids that live in this neighborhood, it's not good for them. The dumpster company says the customer should have called for pickup long ago. That property owner told fact finders the growing pile is the fault of illegal dumping, but he will start cleaning up the area tomorrow. City inspector will also be dropping by, and if the dumpster and trash are not gone by Wednesday, the city will remove it and bill the property owner.